Hi guys, welcome to what Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's the energy coming towards Virgos today, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages and also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember these are general readings. Only take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Don't go try to make this fit into your life. You're definitely going to know if it does. Okay, if you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay, guys. All right, we're going to get right into this. I do want to thank all my returning subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being with me. For all my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome. For everyone that's bought personal readings, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me in spirit. All right. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me what it is that I need to see for my Virgos. Show me spirit. I was going to do a reading for you guys yesterday evening, but the energy, there was a lot of people in your energy. There was a lot of people in your energy. And I don't know what some of you Virgos had going on. <laughs> don't know what y'all had going on. There's people on top of people in, the, in that energy. And I was just like 30, 28 minutes into it. And I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> All right, spirit. It's, it's almost like spirit is wanting me to tell some of you guys, you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself because first and foremost, spirit sees everything. God sees everything. And some things, there's some things in your life that could be blocking your blessings, people, places, things, situations that you put yourself into. All right. Anything else, spirit? Okay. So we got my August babies. Okay. First out, we have desk. Pay attention to your work. So for some of you guys, your spirit guides are telling you to pay attention to your work. There could be something going on if you have a desk at work. Pay attention to what's on it. You don't want to miss any. I'm getting a deadline of some sort. Hmm. We're going to see what that's about. Then we have flute. Disappointment in a friend or lover. This energy has been kind of following you guys for a while. Whereas you've been having some type of disappointment with a friend or a lover. Um, I'm also also got this could be somebody that you work with as well. And then we have I psychic ability. Trust your intuitions. I do feel like you guys have really and truly tapped into your intuitions lately. Whereas you have been making better choices for yourself by listening to your intuitions. And then we have tinkered, celebration, fun, or enjoyment. So, so some of you guys be going to some type of celebration. Something just came to me, some type of celebration in the month of August. I don't know why I'm getting the summer months. There's going to be a lot of fun and enjoyment for you guys preferably in the month of august i know that's a ways from now but i'm definitely getting there's going to be a shift in your energy in the month of august that is a ways from now i know that 
And then we have lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. I feel like they may there may be somebody that may come into your energy and this person may try to test you. I'm not liking that energy. I feel like this could be a friend, a lover. This could also be a co-worker for some of you guys. And they could come in and they could try and test you. And Spirit is saying for you to check your anger. Be, be careful with your words. Be careful with your words. Show me, Spirit. Expansion. I'm getting some of you guys. You could be expanding your home. You could be expanding your home or your family. I'm also getting some of you guys. You could be upgrading your home. Look at that gossip. You have some gossiping individuals around you. This could be family members or co-workers or friends. There's also want someone new in your life. There's someone new in your life that you are grateful for. A friend. There is a friend. There's a friend. There's someone here. Someone older that you may trust. That you may feel comfortable enough to go to in your time of your time of need, someone that you take wisdom from, someone that you take guidance from. And this could be somebody definitely that is older, someone more on a spiritual level. This, there's somebody in your life that you're very grateful for. But I'm also getting there's some people in your life right now. And these people are not, not good friends. They're not good friends. You're disappointed with them. Yeah. Some of you guys could have a friend that's, that's disappointed with you as well. Mm -hmm. Show me spirit. Show me expansion. Show me expansion. Whoa, that's a whole bunch. Let's not do that. So I have some of you guys, you're expanding your family. You're expanding your home. There's something coming into your life. Somebody is going to get pregnant. And this is with somebody. Somebody's going to get pregnant with somebody that they met recently, actually. If you met someone recently, I'm getting that you may get pregnant for this person. This could be the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Give me a sec, guys. You intuitively know this. You intuitively know this. This is somebody that is nice. Like this is somebody that is nice. Mm -hmm. Show me expansion spirit. Oh, that went right there. Okay. Oof. That same card when I was trying to do a reading for you guys yesterday evening, that card came out. You have double confirmation of gossip. There's a lot of people talking about you. There's a lot of people talking about you. And it's, hmm. It's like spirit is saying you're giving people something to talk about. There's a lot of jealous people around you. There is a lot of jealous people around you do not like starting the, our morning off like this. It says nuisance, gossip, hassle, freeloader, and opportunist. You have a lot of jealous people that are around you talking about you. You know what it is. It's that you because your life is, there's growth in your life. Because you're expanding. You're expanding your horizons. You are doing good for yourself your fight your your finances are improving it's because you're improving your life and there are certain people in your life that you're not taking them along on this journey with you it's like those people are watching you succeed these people are watching you have fun celebrating and enjoying life you have some jealous individuals that are around you these people are watching you do well for yourself and you intuitively know who these people are. Some of you guys could have psychic abilities. And 
people around you are watching your life expand, watching you become a better person, watching you make a better life for yourself. And you have a lot of jealous people around you. That's double confirmation of double confirmation of people that are talking about you. Somebody may actually piss you off, piss you off in this process. Yeah. Show me gossip. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Coming, It's a breakthrough. You're going to have a breakthrough with a relationship. A solution to a problem. It's, it's your faith. You don't care. It's, you're, not, you're actually unfazed by this. You're actually unfazed by this. I'm getting you're doing something right. If this many, if it's disturbing the peace of this many people, because boy, you, whatever you're doing is disturbing the peace for a lot of people, people that you, they, they could be family. These are people that could be friends, but there are people that are around you and they, they don't like the shine that you're shining right now. Mm -mm. If you have something that you're trying to work on, I do see you. I do see forward movement in, in whatever this is. It's almost like you're going to be getting a, a clear path. It's like a knowing. You may actually intertwine yourself with someone here that can help you on a journey. Help you get to where it is that you want to be. You may be coming into union with someone and I'm getting a strong friend relationship, maybe like a co-worker relationship or somebody that you may be decide to partner up with. Um, and this person, this person's going to help you. It's like solving a riddle. It's like, you know what you want to do. You have the thought, but it's like someone that's going to come in and help you push through, get to where it is that you need to be. Show me gratitude. Mm, that's nice. That's nice energy, which I, I got this energy when the cards flew out. Um, bless your heart, friendship. This is someone this is someone that you are going to be this you have a friend coming into your life, or you may have just met someone. You may have just met someone and this is going to be somebody that's going to be a little older than you. This is going to be somebody that's kind. This person is kind and this person wishes you well. This person's going to be a, a breath of fresh air or is a breath of fresh air. This person is different from the people that are in your life right now. It's almost like you're you're going to know this. You know how you're going to know this person? Because you're going you're going to feel that you can trust this person. You're going to feel that what's what's coming out of this person's mouth is genuine. That's the energy that I'm getting and it's like you are like so grateful for this person. I'm definitely getting an older individual energy here. Somebody that that's going that you can show that you're going to show appreciation to or that's going to appreciate you being in their life. But they're also worthy. They're also very worthy. This is somebody that's very intuitively see that somebody's getting pregnant. Somebody's going to be expanding their family. Somebody is going to be getting pregnant or starting something new, like starting a new endeavor. Belief was at, actually at the bottom of the deck and then it flew out. So we have faith. Faith of a new beginning. You, you're giving birth to something new, a new life for yourself. You're expanding your life. It's like there's so many improvements that are happening in your life, but there's a lot of improvements that's coming into your life. There is a lot of improvements coming into your life. Yes, there is going to be people in your life that will not be happy for you. We're not even going to tap into the, those people's energy, but I do see a lot of growth. I see a lot of comfort though, because I feel like you're going to have somebody that's going to come into your life. And this is going to be more like a companion, a friend. But it's going to be somebody that understands you, somebody that's going to be there for you. It's like somebody that's going to cheer you on. But it's going to be like a breath of fresh air because you've had so many disappointments with friends, lovers, and family members in the past. You've had so many disappointments. So it's going to be like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. I do see you guys listening to your intuitions a lot. 
you you're, you're definitely listening to your intuitions a lot your intuitions helping you helping you got helping guide you to this expansion because there is major expansion in your life present moment are coming into your life i do see that some of you guys are going to be celebrating having fun i see a major shift in your life happening when within the summer late summer august I'm also getting for a lot of my Virgos that were born in the month of August. Spirit is calling you to pay attention to your work. Focus on your work, okay? I feel like you have been, but there's something there. There's something there. Why? Because I'm getting an energy of if you drop the ball, it could be detrimental to your work, to your career, or to the path that you're on right now. Also control your anger. Spirit is saying you will be sorry. Be careful with your words. Don't be haste. Like Spirit is saying, don't be haste. You may get mad, but it's like deal with it. I don't Spirit doesn't want you to walk away, like get mad and say, F this. It's like Spirit wants you to deal with your issues. Don't run away from your issues. Because I feel like it's coming. And Spirit is saying, don't run away. Show me spirit. We have the page of cups. Somebody wants to apologize to you. Somebody wants to offer you an apology. This is somebody that is that loves you. Queen of Swords. You have you, you you're not. Hmm. This could be a younger water sign. That wants to apologize to you. But I feel like you're this queen of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I'm getting this. This is you. You're kind of closed off. You're not wanting to hear anyone's. Yeah, you're not. You're you're really and truly. I'm going to. I'm getting an energy of you being closed off but spirit is wanting you to come out of that be open to receive someone's apology because i feel like i just feel like that's this this anger i know that this person has disappointed you this person has disappointed you whoever this is this is a younger water sign and this person does love you though this person wants to apologize to you. This could be a child. This could be a friend. This could be a lover. This could be a family member. This is a younger water sign. I feel like you're the queen of swords, whereas you're just kind of, you're blocking them altogether. You're not talking to them and you're giving them the cold shoulder is what I'm getting. person gave you ish this person caused you this person was a nuisance though it's like this person they gave you a, it's like they they gave you a lot of hassles they did we have the chariot the chariot is all about action victory your success and forward movement so you guys there's there's a lot of success victory and forward movement happening in your life that's this major expansion that's this major expansion there is going to be a lot of success and things are really and truly like i feel like if you haven't seen this as of yet it is coming towards you it is and I'm, i've been getting in the energy the beginning part of 2023 you're going to see a lot of things happening in your life but i also see right now for right now present moment you guys you're experiencing forward movement you're experiencing uh, expansion in your life certain breakthroughs breakthroughs within your finances you're also getting solutions to issues that you that that, that may have come into your life i do see victory and i do see success strong cancer energy here ace of pentacles prosperity new beginning see that this is all new energy this is new money, new opportunity, new job, new person. 
This is like a new partnership, a new career. There's forward movement here towards your towards your stability and your foundation. A solid foundation. A solid foundation. We have the King of Pentacles. See, this is you. Very, you're very logical, very intellectual. You're, um, you're very, very smart. Some of you guys, you could be a father, a mother with the devil here. Hmm. Capricorn energy. What are you obsessing over? You're obsessing over something and there's also fear. You're, you're scared of a new beginning. Somebody here is actually pregnant or getting pregnant and there's a fear there. There's a fear there because you're just starting to see a shift in your life. But I see that there's going to be somebody that's going to come into your life and this person's going to help you. This person's going to help guide you. This person is someone that is older and this person could definitely be a friend. Give me a sec. This person could definitely be a friend. That's going to that's going to bring comfort to your life in your time of need. This person's going to bring comfort to your life. Show me this page of cups. Page of cups that's flirtatious energy, but this is like new. This is like a message of love. A message, a loving and caring message that you will be receiving from someone. It also could be an apology. Oof. Eight of cups. This is someone that walked away from you or that you walked away from. This this is somebody that wants to change within your relationship. This is someone that wants to change within your relationship. Strong water sign. This person disappointed you and this person knows they disappointed you. Mm-hmm. They and you could have blocked this person. Put up boundaries with this person, King of Wands. Hmm. This is somebody that is away from you, somebody that's been traveling. This person does a lot of traveling. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you, this Aries Leo Sagittarius. You inspire this person. This is why this person is returning to you. This is somebody that, this is why this person is going to be sending you a message. There's something about you that inspires this person. This person sees you differently. This person, I'm dealing with um, a Virgo with strong fire in their chart. You have a younger water sign that may have walked away from you or you walked away from this person. But you and this person, you might have blocked this person. You're not talking to this individual. And this person... Why you're not talking to this person is because this person disappointed you. And this person is coming in to apologize to you. This person is going to be sending you some type of message, message of love, message to apologize. Because this person likes having you in their life. And they're, it's almost like giving me an energy is however they can get you into their life. They're going to settle for that. Okay, that's what I'm getting strongly in this energy. I feel like you inspire this person. You've changed this person's viewpoint. You definitely played a major role in this person's life, but I feel like you have, you're this queen of swords right here. You're embodying this energy. You have your, you have this person blocked right now, present moment. You have this person blocked and I do see you just kind of been focused on yourself. Show me this queen of swords for Virgo. What is this? The five of cups. These cards are so hard to see. There's some sadness and some loss here. You were disappointed in this person. Even though you've kicked this person out of your life, even though you haven't been talking to this person, even though this person somehow in some type of way, this person exited your life. And it's because this person brought you a lot of sadness. This person disappointed you greatly. Like whether this is a friend, a lover, a family member, whoever this is, this person disappointed you a lot. This person made you sad. And even losing this person made you sad still. Yeah. Hmm. But you still have feelings for this person. You do still have feelings for this person. Show me. Five of Pentacles. We have five, five here. Hmm. There's a change that's about to happen in that relationship. 
there's a significant change that's about to happen in this relationship with this person that disappointed you there's going to be a change a shift five of pinnacles mm. somebody wanting to return this person wants to return to you this is somebody that you've isolated from your life this is somebody for some of you guys you're going to you're going to it's like you're going to hear this person out but you're going to kick them out of your life for good but for some of you guys this person's coming back into your life this person's coming back into your life but this person's coming back into your life changed this person has changed whoever this younger water sign is this person has changed we have five five here this person's changed show me the chariot for virgo that is a breakthrough that is forward movement you have double confirmation of a breakthrough that's happening in your life also a breakthrough that's happening in happening in a relationship with somebody that has disappointed you greatly show me the chariot we have the page of pentacles that page of pentacles flew out dead smack in the reverse though Page of Pentacles is all about good news. But there's something here. I just don't feel like you're when you're going to get this message, you're not going to be happy about this message. Somebody here is going to be getting some news and you're not going to be happy about this. What is this spirit? What is this spirit? It's like I'm getting an aggravating energy. Show me this page of Pentacles. Judgment. <clears throat> Scorpio energy. You're going to be letting something go. You're making a decision to let something go. When you're going to hear from someone, you're making a decision to let something go. Somebody here, you're actually making a decision to walk away from a marriage. Somebody's made a decision to walk away from a marriage or you're going to be making a decision to walk away from a marriage. I feel like you're undergoing, it's like, you want something new. You're making a decision that you want something new. You're what you're making a decision to go towards your own dreams, your own desires. You're you're making that decision because you want forward movement. And you're stepping out on faith. It's like you're taking a leap of faith. Mhm. Mm what is this? Because I'm also getting Hmm. What is this spirit? Eight of Pentacles. You're focused on your work. You're fo you're focused on your work. You're focused on your worth, your work itself. You're making a decision to let go. You don't want a relationship. Somebody here, you're not you're not investing in a relationship. You're not it's like you're just focused on your career itself. That's what that's what you are. You're just focused on your career itself. Some of you guys, you could be going back to school. But you're you're letting go of a lot of things. You're you're rendering judgment on a lot of individuals. And I feel like you're going to be getting some type of message from someone and you're not excited about it. I don't see that you're excited about it. It's going to bring some type of forward movement towards closure is what I'm getting in this energy. But you're not excited about the news, the message that you're going to be getting from someone here because you've you've changed 
and you're deciding to let this go because you're focused on your you're focused on your work it's disappointing it really is i feel like i'm i'm getting an energy of disappointment on both of you guys in on both of you guys in our disappointment in the situation itself because for some of you guys this could be your career this could be a job that you're letting go of so you can focus on entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and it's disappointing it is but it's almost like spirit is saying you're doing the right thing for yourself the world that's double confirmation of worldly. Some of you guys are going to be doing some major traveling. Some of you guys are going to be relocating with the Ace of Pentacles here in the world. Strong Capricorn energy. I do see a new beginning in your career, a new beginning in success. Some of you guys, you're going to be starting a new beginning by relocating, traveling somewhere else. And that's where your new beginning is going to be starting. You're closing things out. You're definitely closing things out right now. You're closing out relationships. You're closing out connections. You're focused on your prosperity. You're focused on your new beginning. You want a new beginning for yourself. You do. And you're totally going towards your success and your happiness. This is all about what you've been manifesting for yourself. This is all about what you've been manifesting for yourself. You have triple confirmation of success, triple confirmation of forward movement, triple confirmation of a new beginning in abundance, in abundance. Some of you guys, you're going to be expanding your family, your life, but you're also going to be meeting someone new. And this is a friend. This is a friend. I see a lot of celebration, happiness, and joy that's going to be coming into your life. It may, that true success, that true happiness, that true joy may not come until the late summer months of 2023, but it's coming. You're going to start to see a shift at the beginning of 2023 that's going to go through the springtime into the summertime is what I'm getting here in this energy. Show me the world. You're going to be getting the, the things that you've been manifesting. They're coming into fruition. I'm definitely be, I'm definitely getting at the beginning of 2023, though. Oh, that's a whole bunch. We'll take them all. So we have the king of cups. That's your happiness. That's oh, actually it's the nine of cups. <laughs> so much. These cards are so funny all right so we have the nine of cups that's your happiness that's wish fulfillment see that's your success and your joy and your happiness let me tell you your life is about to be nice we have the ace of pentacles with the world that's all about your manifestations your success you closing out old things and starting a new life for yourself with the nine of cups that's your happiness you have the eight of wands that i feel like that's travel there's some news that's coming in. You're going to be getting some type of news regarding some type of travel. That's going to make you so happy. So happy. We have the Empress. The Empress came out in the reverse. I'm t this is four times I'm seeing somebody pregnant here. Somebody is somebody's getting pregnant. We have somebody pregnant here, 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 and the Empress. Somebody is, somebody's getting pregnant. That's too many pregnant people. <laughs> um, but we have the Empress here. I, I'm, it's just, I'm getting a feeling that you don't believe. You're manifesting something, you're wishing for something, you're praying for something, but you don't really believe that it's going to happen. Spirit is calling you to have faith. Spirit is calling you to have faith. You have double confirmation of faith. Spirit is calling you to have faith. There's, there's definitely going to be a shift in your life. There's definitely going to be a shift in your life, but also spirit is calling you. You see, you have this new beginning coming. You have wish fulfillment coming. You have success coming. You have world travel coming. Spirit is calling you to take care of yourself. Spirit is calling you to spend some time out in nature. Have some fun. But most importantly, spirit is calling you to take care of yourself. I feel like all together, 
Spirit is screaming at you because even with all these new beginnings, even with all this stuff that's happening in your life, for some of you guys, you're still lacking. You're still lacking taking care of yourself, loving yourself, getting out in nature, getting grounded, keeping healthy boundaries. Because still, while things may be shifting in your personal life, there's still some things, there's still work that needs to be done. There's still work that will be need, that that needs to be done. I do see that you're. There's definitely going to be like a major shift in your stability and your foundation. I get some of you guys. You may be mothers. You may be fathers. Show me this King of Pentacles. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. You're strong. you're strong like you're going to be strong because with all honesty i'm getting near future energy here like i'm getting near future energy here and i'm really and truly like it's kind of mind-blowing how strong you are how strong you will be and and when i say that it's how good life's going to be for you how stable things are going to be for you I, I get so much, it's like, it's a comfort level. It's a happiness. It's a peace. You know, that's what I'm getting for you in this energy. It's a peace of mind, a peace of mind. Why? Because you're not going to be struggling. You're not going to be dealing with other people's BS because you would have already let them out of your life. I feel like you're keeping healthy boundaries, minding your own business, but also evolving. Like I'm getting like, there's like, there's an expansion happening in your life, but you're actually transforming. It's like a butterfly coming out of their cocoon. That's the energy that I'm getting right here. That's the energy that I'm getting. I'm also got double confirmation. Some of you guys, your psychic ability, you feel it. You intuit, you're very intuitive very intuitive some of you guys you're in a same-sex relationship same-sex marriage show me spirit or you're going to be entering a same-sex marriage mm -hmm. that's double confirmation of that same-sex relationship show me spirit sometimes i try and take my time take my time so i can see more <laughs> show me spirit strength see that that's double confirmation of your strength itself it's like be patient spirit is calling you to be patient to be patient and also show compassion to others you're going to be coming into union with somebody somebody that's going to make you feel whole you're coming into union with somebody nice whether this is a friend but for some of you guys i'm i'm getting an energy of a lover strong leo energy but i'm getting an energy of somebody that's going to make you feel nice somebody that's going to make you feel nice this person's going to be nice spirit is calling you to be patient be patient what is this what is the devil show me the devil it says hmm. what is this hold there's a hold on you right now Show me. The hangman. All right, you're letting go. You're letting go. You're letting go of temptations, obsessiveness, fear. You're undergoing a major rebirth. Page of Wands. Okay, so you're letting go of someone in your life you may still have this person in your life right now you may still have this person in your life right now and this person may be in your life for a while this message is meant for someone but i'm also getting you're going to be letting go of someone this is not like 
a committed relationship. Some of you guys, you are, while you're focused on yourself, while you're trying to make your life better, you're still entertaining someone here sexually. You're still entertaining someone here sexually and you're going to be letting go of this person. This person, there's, there's some type of bond between you and this person, but you're still, you're still sleeping with this person right now, present moment, right now, present moment. And through your success, through your victory on the other side of it, you're going to let this person go. And you know exactly who I'm talking to, because even though you may, you're going to go, you're going into 2023 playing with this person, no matter what you say, whoever that is for, you're going to be going into 2023 playing with this person or for some of you guys, there's something that you're going into 2023, still holding on to something that is not serving you, something that is not serving you, but you're going to let it go. And when you're going to let it go, you're going to make a decision to finally let it go is once you've reached success. Once you see that you don't need this person, place, thing, or situation, you're, it's like, it's almost like you're, you're, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a bidding war. Um, it's almost like you are okay, spirit. Okay. God, show me, show me that I got this. Show me that I can do this. Show me that this is what's going to happen. And I will, it's like you're bargaining. I'm telling you, it's like you're bargaining with the spirit world and the spirit world is on your side. <laughs> like, so I'm kind of confused by that. <laughs> I'm kind of confused by that, but it's almost like you are faithful. You are determined, but still it's like giving me an energy of trying to hold on to something, just a little bit of something that's not so good for you. Just so you don't feel a little lonely, feel a little, and I'm, I'm getting like, it could be anything. It could be a person, a place, a thing, a situation, but it's not something that's truly serving you. But I see you still trying to hold on to this until you reach a certain level in your life. It's almost like a bargaining chip. I, I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. I don't know why you feel like that's a thing, but you feel like it's a thing because <laughs> I see it here. I do see it here, which is quite funny, actually. The fact that you think that you can bargain with God like that. <laughs> Show me spirit. Show me what it is that I need to see for my Virgo. Show me. Be playful. You've been getting this card a lot, guys, a lot. It's like spirit is calling you to step out and have fun. Spirit is calling you to step out and have fun. You could have been born on August 27th. I have September 2nd, September 6th, and September 13th. Show me spirit. Be fearless and bold, badger spirit. So I have the number four. Set healthy boundaries. <laughs> Armadillo spirit. Canary spirit, sing your own song. I feel like what spirit is saying to you is to enjoy your life. Really, 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 really. You see clearly now. Yeah, because I'm getting that you're going to be setting boundaries with individuals. I do see that you're going to have to set boundaries with certain people in your life. And I know that you guys, you've been saying that y'all have been setting boundaries. If you have, good. But some of you guys, you're going to make a decision to set healthy boundaries. Spirit is saying for you to be playful, to be fearless and to be bold. Step out on faith. Get out of your comfort zone and sing your own song. 
do do you that's what I'm hearing do you as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting someone else spirit is saying for you to do you because you deserve it you really 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 deserve it I do see a good life for you I really really do and I see like really and truly there's going to be a shift in the beginning of 2023 I do see that some of you guys are still going to be holding on to some type of negative aspect. You're going to be still hold, be holding on to some little snippet of something that you just don't want to let go of present moment. You know that you need to, but you don't want to let it go present moment. But I do see on the other side of this success and this victory, you're going to be letting it go. It's almost like it's going to, you're then going to feel comfortable enough in your own skin, in your own life to free yourself from this. Okay. All right, my loves. I do wish you guys well until next time. Bye guys.